Hey everybody, Sean here from Shooty School. I don't put ads on my videos that have less than a thousand views and sent a few to subscribe and watch right away. A lot of Easy Drummer 3 users do not feel a fluid workflow when navigating and playing back through their DAW, and for good reason. The spacebar doesn't work the way you want it to. On top of that, you are managing two separate timelines that each have their own rules. For those new users or veteran users that are still grinding their teeth through this, just hang with me for a few minutes or even share your advice on the subject below in the comments. When you open up Easy Drummer 3 in standalone mode and hit the spacebar, it plays. You click in the song tracks ruler to a different part in your track and hit spacebar, it plays from that spot. You open the grid editor and it behaves the same way. This is the plug and play easy mentality that we all expect from Easy Drummer's standalone. And it's also how our DAWs typically behave. But when we use Easy Drummer 3 inside of a DAW loaded as an instrument track, the rules cannot be this simple anymore. Your DAW has the priority and for good reason. It is hosting Easy Drummer 3, never mind thousands of other potential things. But since a lot of users want to still edit inside of Easy Drummer 3 while in your DAW, we need not only to be aware of a few key commands and tricks, but we need to acknowledge them and try them out to understand their value, which I believe Believe will help relieve the stress from your DAW experience using Easy Drummer 3 and save you a ton of time. Firstly is the simple key command which many of us already know. To play back Easy Drummer 3 but not your DAW, hold shift before hitting the space bar. So when you're editing in Easy Drummer 3 and do not want your DAW to take control of playback, start holding the shift key down continuously on your keyboard with your left pinky finger. This is not easy to get used to since we may never have really done it before unless you're a superior drummer user. One trick to this key command is this. There's few areas in Easy Drummer 3 where the shift key does anything destructive or of value, so holding it down all the time can be a valid way to train. So when you start editing only in Easy Drummer 3 and want to exclude your DAW's playback, always hold down the shift key while you work. This will help you avoid instinctively hitting only the spacebar, giving your DAW control of playback and breaking the vibe of your Easy Drummer 3 editing experience. I'm continuing to hold shift. I'm working and I'm playing back at will to check my work. A side note is this. If you're the type of person that likes to hit the pause button instead of the stop button, use the control plus spacebar command option on Mac instead of shift plus spacebar so you can pause playback on your timeline instead of going back to where you started. If I hit shift plus spacebar, that will play and it will stop and go back. If I hit control plus spacebar, it will play and then pause where I left off. If you can make yourself practice this for a few minutes at a time, you'll memorize it and never look back. That's the main message of this video. Simply put in moments of due diligence to practice it and reap the rewards afterwards. Now that we're more in control, let's simply optimize our atmosphere and take more confident control over our session. I'll listen to my song or however far I've made it in my project and put out markers that are sensible to me to the locations of the song parts. I'll name them. I won't name them, whatever you need for a visual cue to locate your song parts. Now, without seeing the body of my DAW, I can see at a glance where my song sections are and I can see the measure numbers too. Now I will resize Easy Drummer 3 to take up as much screen real estate as possible without covering my main ruler or my ruler's markers. If you can't make Easy Drummer 3 small enough to do this, look in the View menu and start scaling it down below 100%. That should help. Now, I can only see Easy Drummer 3 and my DAW's ruler and markers. Some DAWs even have a marker list you may want to keep visible when laying out Easy Drummer 3. Now we're ready to work in Easy Drummer 3 with DAW playback. And the tracks you'll hear in this video are by Steven Paracone. I will link to his tracks in the description. I have some videos coming out using his material. Since Easy Drummer 3 cannot tell a DAW when to play, we do not hold the shift key anymore. And since Easy Drummer 3 cannot tell a DAW where to play, there's no need to use Easy Drummer 3's ruler or song track anymore for navigating. Now, Simply imagine that your Easy Drummer 3 song track ruler 
is up here where your DAW's ruler is. Want to hear playback of your chorus? Well, click on your chorus marker and hit the space bar. Want to hear how the drum turnaround that's halfway through the bridge sounds? Well, we can see that it's at measure 71 in the song track. So let's simply look for measure 71 in my DAW's ruler, click on it, and hit spacebar. See how fast we can work now by mentally blocking out Easy Drummer 3's playback controls and ruler once we want DAW playback? Let's say we found a beat we want to further work on. Easy. First, put your left pinky on your left shift key. And now, start working in Easy Drummer 3 song track or grid editor for playback as we've learned earlier. Then release shift when you're ready to hear your results with DAW playback and start navigating with your DAW's ruler and markers. Now I'm staying efficient and I'm not losing my place in the song due to where the DAW wants to play back as opposed to where I want to work inside of Easy Drummer 3. Remember to always hit the shift key when working inside of Easy Drummer 3 or for now, always hold it down until it becomes second nature until your muscle memory starts taking over. Don't forget to set loop points in your DAW which can easily keep you hands free with navigating while editing in Easy Drummer 3. Setting a loop point in Easy Drummer 3 will not loop your DAW, but it will still loop your Easy Drummer 3 song track while your DAW is playing. It's a very particular workflow with little use while hearing DAW playback. A last piece of advice to become even more efficient. See how I optimize the size of my screen to only reveal the ruler and markers in my DAW? Do not move Easy Drummer 3 anymore at all. If you want to work in your DAW's tracks, close Easy Drummer 3, work in your DAW's tracks, and then reopen Easy Drummer 3. Your DAW will remember Easy Drummer 3's last location and physical layout. Don't nudge it to the right a little bit because you want to see something on the left and then decide to nudge it to the left so you can see something on the right. Just close and reopen it because your DAW should remember exactly where you left it, which is in that optimized position we took the time to set it at at the beginning of this video. This will be a huge time saver. You just need to acknowledge it and then practice it until you've memorized it. Once that happens, you're saving a ton of time and also avoiding an absolute ton of tiny tasks that work against your momentum and creativity. You can do this with tabs as well. Certain DAWs remember tab locations and some don't, and it adds an extra click, so doing this with tabs is subjective. I hope you took this extremely simple tutorial seriously because if you don't have a simple workflow like this, you are wasting a serious amount of time and stress. I'm Sean from Shooty School. Check out my Discord and my Facebook like-minded communities. Links in the description. If I've ever made your day, consider contributing. And if you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications, you may never see an ad on any of my videos because I don't put ads on videos that have less than a thousand views. Rock on.